Tuesday, our tech guru Burton Kelso is back this morning with five apps to help families enjoy the great outdoors. Like I said, pretty much every day, but today exactly, and right? tomorrow and the day after. But this weekend is going to be nice, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. So when it is nice outside, you need stuff to do with the family. That's true. And you have great ideas for that. Yeah. What do you want to start with? Well, obviously not Fortnite, but <laughs> yeah, we're not doing playing Fortnite outside. Exactly. Yes. But trails.com is a great app that families can use in order to explore the great outdoors. Trails.com uh, uses uh, maps from different trails all across the country. So if you want to find a trail near your home, just download trails.com. You can find a good walking trail, whether oh. it's paved or unpaved, and you can just go explore outdoors. That is nice and easy. I yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah. Great way to get outside. Yeah, the challenge is, is with a lot of the apps like just Google Maps. It doesn't do trails. It just is regular no, it does, streets. It does it, yeah. yeah, so you've got to use an app like Trails. Okay, so Trails app and then the plants are becoming very pretty this time of That's year. That's right. If you're out on a walk or something, you don't know what kind of plant it is. What mm -hmm. can we do? Picture this as an app that you can download onto your smart device where you can take a picture of a plant and it'll let you know what it is. Oh. So it doesn't matter if you encounter tulips or irises or even poison ivy, mm -hmm. you can take out your yeah. smartphone. <laughs> Pay attention and to that poison a, ivy. Exactly. And take photos of the of the plant so that way you can identify what it is. That's very nice for all those who love plants, flowers out there. Right. Skyview app. What is that one all about? Skyview basically turns your smartphone into a telescope. So actually you could use this app today because mm -hmm. you could stay indoors and take a look at the stars. But you can also turn on the augmented reality review or um, preview and you can look up at the sky. You can tell which constellations are what and which That's planets neat. are what. Yeah. That would be really nice. Like if you're having an evening picnic or watching. Or you get in arguments with your spouse as to where it's <laughs> Jupiter or Mars where's, in the sky. Or the Big Dipper. <laughs> exactly. So that's a wonderful app to help identify the constellations. Yes. It's and then great. geocaching. That's what it's called, right? It's, I think it's just geocaching. Geocaching? Geocaching. Yeah. Cache. Geocaching. Yeah. I haven't heard of it in a long time. I mean, I just haven't heard the word. You, you so. know what it is, right? Yeah. People out in the wilderness finding things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> That's the whole purpose. You use GPS yes. in order to find treasure. So you can use the geocaching app to take your family on a treasure hunt. Yeah. Yeah, the find. That sounds like kids would love that. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not going to be too much fun for an adult, yeah. but kids finding little trinkets in the woods. That's great. That should be their new slogan. People out in the wild finding things. <laughs> finding stuff, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> and we have about 30 seconds left. Pokemon Go, Pokemon, Pokemon. Pokemon Go is an app that's been around for several years, but it allows families and kids to go out and catch Pokemon, Pokemon mm -hmm. out in the wild. Kind of like was, geocaching. Out in the wild, right? right? exactly. <laughs> uh, that was so popular. I remember when that came out a few years ago and kids were everywhere doing it's Pokemon still Go. Popular. And it's still popular. Yeah, it so sure is, yeah. Those are five options to get outside and enjoy the nice weather that will be here eventually, especially, you know, this weekend. It's going to be 75. So That's right. Thanks for all the great tips. Thanks Every for time you come me, yes. here, I find myself overloading my phone with new apps. <laughs> So thank you for all the advice. We appreciate it. You need it. a bigger phone, obviously. I need right? a bigger phone. Right. We'll have a link to these apps on CaseyLive.tv later on today. Let's toss it over to Crystal.